For this session, the goal is going to be to bring education, but also awareness. Awareness about a rare condition that can change your family's life forever. Today, Morgan Rachel, a wound care nurse that I had the pleasure of working with, will share her story about her daughter, Lydia. Now, in a short amount of time, she's brought so much awareness to this condition, and she's trying to raise funds also so they can eventually have treatment and a cure for this condition. So we thank Morgan for being here with us. Hear her story. My name is Morgan Rachel, and my daughter Lydia was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder called San Filippo syndrome at 18 months old. It is terminal. A parent's worst nightmare is to be told that their child is going to die. San Filippo syndrome is a pediatric neurodegenerative metabolic disease that collectively occurs in about 1 in 70,000 births. There are four forms of San Filippo syndrome, A, B, C, and D, each affecting a different enzyme needed to break down a complex molecule called heparin sulfate. This is important for hundreds of functions in the body. Because Lydia is lacking this enzyme, the toxic waste of heparin sulfate will build up eventually causing brain damage. She will lose all of her abilities, such as walking, talking, and feeding herself. She will experience seizures, she will experience pain and suffering, and she will die before her second decade of life. Because of its neurodegenerative nature and multi-system impact, St. Filippo syndrome is often called childhood Alzheimer's. We were able to diagnose Lydia early before the brain damage starts to occur, around three or four years old. Lydia is one, she will turn two in October. There is hope. Scientific research has progressively proceeded thanks to organizations like Cure St. Filippo Foundation that fund both research and clinical trial programs. There is currently no cure or treatment approved by the FDA. The FDA has recently agreed that a treatment is working. This is massive news for the San Filippo community and families. There are no clinical trials enrolling. Our children have no opportunities to fight this disease. We need the world's help. It is our girl's only chance at life and children like her. Funding is crucial for research and clinical trials. These are millions of dollar projects. We are hopeful for Lydia's future and the life that she deserves. Please help us save her by sharing her story and donating if you can to her GoFundMe account, Save Lydia. It goes strictly and directly to the Cure San Filippo Foundation for Research and Clinical Trials. Please help us save her before it's too late.